What's going on, everybody? So we finally got our Alexander Arms um, tank break in the mail. It's taken quite a bit of time to get here. Let me top it up and show you guys how it looks. Um, today I'll be getting it put on. All right, there's a tank break. That's how that looks. So yeah, we'll be installing this today on our uh, on the AR-15, which is chilling in the back. So once that is finished, we'll finally be able to go to the range for a uh, for a range day. Yeah, so I'm going to get that installed now. When the tank break is finished, we'll finally be able to go to the range and uh, take a few shots. I just got my ammo in the mail from Bud's Gun Shop. It, I ordered that ammo like a month ago, so everybody just slowed shipping. Even this uh, muzzle brake was two days shipping and it took three weeks to get here. So I mean, like, it is what it is. That's what we gotta deal with. So um, yeah, I guess I'll see you guys next slide when it's uh, on the gun back there. All right, guys, so the barrel's finished at the machine shop. Here we are, I'm up in West Palm Beach. And the fitment is perfect. Take a look at that. See the barrel inside, perfect lineup. So everything works fine now. So now we gotta just put everything back together. And um, that's it. What's up, guys? So today we got the barrel back from the machine shop and we got our muzzle brake installed. All right, now this muzzle brake the same thread pattern was the same one on the muzzle brake, but the barrel was a little too uh, too long. So they took out, I want to say it, maybe a, a less than a half an inch on the barrel, and um, got it to fit perfectly. You see the barrel inside fits perfectly because the barrel would screw on, but you'd only get like three or four turns on there. So that's basically what we had to get done. We had to get it machined down just a tad bit on the barrel to make it fit. So um, that's finished now. Now we're gonna get the gun put back together. It's just a barrel, guys. And we should have the final one come later on today. What's going on guys? So finally I can tell you guys the 50 Bay Wolf is finished. It's been about almost a month. I've been working on it. So um, yeah, everything's done. I'm gonna show you guys what we got. So to start off, just to show you guys another comparison. The, the rifle that I built is AR-15 uh, platform. Um, I bought the upper from Big Creek Arsenal and the lower is a uh, PSA. So. That's basically the main parts of the gun. I mean, I bought the upper complete, so there was not much to do. So, uh, it's chambered at 50 Beowulf, alright? And if you guys don't remember from the first video, for size comparison, here's a 5.56 and then a 50 Beowulf in size comparison. Alright, and these are the same AR-15 mags, so they all fit the same. Alright, 50 Beowulf, 5.56. Um, I had some issues with the gun. And it lied with the uh, AP Arsenal. The gas block, once I took it to the machine shop to get some work done, um, turns out I was missing five of the set screws for the gas block. So I contacted the customer service and I got a hold of them and uh, they shipped it out. So they shipped out the screws that I needed that was missing. I don't know who's working at Bear Creek right now, but hey man, you're, you're messing up orders, man. You're messing up orders. Cause my, my friend bought it with the AR-15 and he had three out of five screws and two of those screws were, were, uh, were loose. In a gas block, so whoever's working on the gas block at Big Arsenal, uh, a buddy, tighten up. So that's that. All right, guys. So basically, without further ado, here is the rifle as it completes my first 50 Beowulf AR-15. Take a look at that, guys. All right, show you guys the overview. This gun is nice. It's built the way I like it personally. Now with this build. We're going to basically, um, I'm going to use this as my hunting gun. Chris, why are you using that 50 Beowulf for hunting? Well, it's different. So, the first trip we have planned up real soon is a hog trip. So, I'm going to take this gun to hog hunting. We'll see how the 50 Beowulf does um, with the charging hog. So, that's the first thing on the list. Alright, so as you guys can see, I got the dust cover on there. 50 Beowulf. 
Hold on. Fail up. All right. You got the Alexander Arms muzzle brake, big tank muzzle brake. Now, there was an issue with this fitting on the Bear Creek Arsenal upper. The thread on the muzzle brake and the thread on the barrel are the same. All right. So, if you guys want to do this build and you want the Alexander Arms muzzle brake, just know you will have to get some machine done work to the barrel in order to make this fit because this will only screw on about three or four turns without the, the barrel getting in the way. So you're gonna have to trim down the barrel with the machinist, not yourself. Um, I think with less than a half an inch and then it'd be on there perfectly fine because it's the same thread pattern. It's just the barrel is so thick and this is kind of thin, it kind of stops it from going where it needs to go, all right? So yeah, once again, this is a 50 barrel, guys, all right? Beowulf, these rounds, take a look at that. And yeah, pretty, uh, it's gonna be a short video, it's not much going on. Um, Bear Creek Arsenal was cool, they sent everything out. Customer service was okay, I emailed them the first day I found out they were missing screws, got no email back, and then the second day I called them, like first thing in the morning, it was like 9.30 a.m. And um, I got a hold of somebody and she sent it out, and it's two day shipping and it should be here, uh, today but I don't need those screws because I had some extras in my um, gun cabinet so I used the spare screws I have another AR-15 to finish it guys and that is it if you guys like this build trust me there will be others um, look forward to the hunting videos this will be my new hunting rifle so if you're into that type of thing um, subscribe yeah that's it so without further ado take care guys please like share subscribe peace Freeze.